In this golf bag, I've possibly got the best irons in the world. The irons that would suit a professional golfer all the way up to a high handicap golfer. Now they're not new, but they are new because these irons in my bag are the new version of the tailor-made P790s. Back in 2017 was when the first set came out and I raved about how good they were. 2019, the next version came out and again, I raved how good they were. Well, TaylorMade have brought out a new version for 2021. There's subtle differences, but they're also claiming there are a lot of similarities to the other sets that have been so successful in the past. Now, if you don't know what the P790s are, or if you need a quick reminder, they're a hollow head design, and through that screw there at the end, after they've been made, they insert speed foam. Yeah, it's a tailor-made thing. Now, apparently that gives more ball speed, a better feel, and it fills the inside of the head. Also, it helps with acoustics, the sound when you hit the shot. These are forged irons, and I must admit, the look again this year is very super clean. I like the design. The only thing I'm maybe not as big a fan of, they've gone for this slightly more brushed finish, which doesn't offend me, but I think I liked a little bit more chrome. Now in the set, you've got four to seven iron, and they've got this speed pocket here at the bottom. That's again to help more ball speed with your longer irons. That doesn't continue as you can see through eight, nine and pitching wedge. Okay, the first place I'm gonna start with this test is actually, I'm gonna pretend I've never tested P790s before. I'm gonna use this set as almost a brand new set. So the first thing I need to look for is the long irons. I wanna know how easy they are to hit. Are they forgiving? Do they go a long way? And then we're gonna move into the more lofty clubs. Now there's one concern I have about the lofty clubs. And we'll test that in this video because that's gonna be a real critical point to whether these are the best irons in the world or not. Okay, let's start off with this little par three up the hill. I'm gonna hit a six iron. Looks wise behind the ball, yeah, just, just clean, nice. Not super thin top line at all. A little bit of protection, a little bit of forgiveness. Almost confident boosting. All right, let's start off, see if we can uh, hit a good one to kick things off. <laughs> you can make the best irons in the world, you can. But if you fat it, two inches behind the golf ball, no club is gonna help you get the ball on the green. That was not a good start at all. Okay, take two. A little bit clean that time, but that has actually made it onto the green. Hmm, I've uh, fatted one, I've thinned one. I'm properly testing these clubs today, aren't I? Okay, so that's my warm up hole out of the way. I've now come to a quiet tee because I really want to test these long irons, certainly the four and five iron. It wouldn't seem strange to have a set like this in a very, very good player's bag. Like I say, a scratch handicapper, even a golf pro, but also someone like a, a 24 handicapper, a 28 handicapper could play with these irons because of the forgiveness level. So let's see if they are forgiving. I'm gonna hit some off the tee and I'm also gonna hit some in the rough there as well to see how much forgiveness I can get with these long irons. Okay, five iron first. Okay, they're three really nice five irons. And that last one that I hit was absolutely out the screws. When it's hit from the middle, they do feel really nice. Oh, it was going so well to that one. Just didn't quite catch that. And I'm, it's, it's down there, it's not horrendous. And it's, it is definitely shorter than the other ones. That was hit right off the bottom. Now's the real test, four iron out of this juicy rough. So I feel like I've given those irons a real good test there off a perfect lie and certainly in that juicy rough. Now, are they the most forgiving irons in the world? No, and that's a fact. But often when you want ultimate forgiveness, you have to 
compromised looks. Like often you need a club head that's way bigger, much chunkier. It's like a real chunky ping or a chunky Callaway, or even tailor-made make a chunkier version iron. The problem is you sacrifice looks. So for me, they're gonna offer you about 70% forgiveness. If you are that higher handicapper and want ultimate forgiveness, you probably do have to sacrifice looks and go for a chunky iron. But if you do hate the look of a chunky iron, then these do offer a fairly high level of forgiveness. So coming up, I've got the ultimate test, which will really tip the scales to whether I think these irons are the best irons in the world. But before we get to that, the next hole is a lovely par five. I'm gonna throw a load of golf balls down, different positions, and try and hit every club in the bag multiple times, and certainly some of the short shots around the green as well. Very nice. So, so far, I feel like I've tested these irons thoroughly. Tested every club in the bag in loads of different situations. And the first thing I wanna say, these irons are very good. I'll come on to whether they're the best irons in a moment. However, I have noticed a couple of subtle changes, certainly against the previous models. I can't help myself but compare to the 2017 model and the 2019 model. And there's one thing that has definitely stood out to me a little bit more with this iron set, they just sound a bit louder off the face. It's not as, maybe a, as, a, as um, satisfying noise. Now the only thing that could have changed to affect that, apparently the speed foam inside has become lighter. I mean, how light can you make foam? I'm not sure. It's the only thing that really could contribute to the difference in sound. But performance so far has been very strong. The last test, I've come here to the 18th hole. I've made myself a, a kind of made up par three shot coming into this hole. I'm 150 yards away from the flag. So I'm gonna be hitting a nine iron full. Now my big concern with power irons and certainly what I've seen from previous generations of the P790s is when you absolutely smoke one out the middle, there can be a tendency of the golf ball to go too long. And you might be thinking, well, I'd, I'd love to hit the ball too long. The problem with that, you don't want to hit it too long if there's trouble past the flag. You don't want those inconsistencies. So let's hit a few into this green and see if we find anything or whether we can classify these as the best irons in the world. So I'm about 153 yards away from the flag and I'm going to hit the nine iron. Now normally my standard nine iron, I probably wouldn't quite hit it that far, but these are stronger lofted, the 40 degrees nine iron. And just to give you a bit of a benchmark, here's the lofts of these irons. They're slightly on the strong side, but nothing ridiculous. Let's hit some nines. I've got GC quad to get some baseline numbers as well. But like I say, what I'm looking out for is I don't want to hit those absolute monster golf shots that go way past the green. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, pin high, literally four feet away from the hole. That looks nice as well. Oh, a tiny bit to the right, but it looks good for distance. Oh, that's got potential. Visually, it actually looks really good again, to be honest with you. Let's see what the numbers are on that one. I must admit, the four I've just hit, the dispersion on distance has been exceptional. Like three or four yards between them. They're all around the flag. And that last one was the one that I must admit I'd fear in the past. I felt like I absolutely crushed that. But it's absolutely spot on for distance, so I cannot fault it. So it comes back to the title of this video and the question I asked at the start. Are these irons the best irons in the world? No. And you know what? They are very, very strong in every category, but they're not the best in every category. 
They're not the softest feel. They're not the most forgiving. They're not the best looking. It depends a little bit what you are looking for. But I'll tell you what, I must admit, they are one of the best all round irons possibly ever made. And they suit a wide range of golfers.